In the post-pandemic era, hygiene and cleanliness have been the center of attention to society and yet the solution used by most of the world could potentially injure people, cause cancer, as well as be harmful for anyone who has met the product. One might think that it makes sense the cleaner are harmful to us because they are chemically made to remove and clean surfaces that are caked with bacteria, dust and many other pollutants. This has led to companies here in India creating cleaners and touting them as the only solution a household will ever need for their cleanliness needs. Yet, they have not stopped using chemicals which are known carcinogens and have been proved in multiple lab studies that they are not fit to come in human contact, much less become a household staple across many homes in India. This has been allowed to happen by the dire need of the masses to maintain the ever-increasing sanitation standards, creating unprecedented demand for cleaning solutions, giving little or no thought to the impact they have on not only the people around them, but also on a much larger scale, to the earth itself, harming its delicate balance of nature even further. You heard it right. Our health is affected adversely when we meet these toxic cleaners. They contain harsh chemicals like ammonia, sodium hypochlorite and trisodium phosphate that tends to cause skin allergies, respiratory diseases or even cancer. Companies and research fellows recommend that no one to be in prolonged contact with chemicals like chlorine and sodium hypochlorite as it is destructive substance and appropriate security measures are recommended if a person is in contact with it for more than 15 minutes at a time. As for trisodium phosphate, another common used in more high-grade cleaning products, it has been declared dangerous to me. Industries which use these make their workers wear full protection kits while cleaning. So why are households not made aware about this? Even worse is the impact it has on the local biosphere. Because if it gets into lakes or small stream, the phosphates trigger an overall growth of algae that result in water body essentially choking itself, depriving the water of air and making it unsuitable to sustain any life. Considering many of us might spend anyway from 30 minutes to probably hours spraying cleaners containing this all around our houses, it can be surmised that it cannot be good for anyone, not to mention how homes that house immunocompromised people, who, while have a higher sanitary standard, will use these products even more. When our team at Enactus NCU saw this, we saw that these products were not sustainable, using harmful chemicals to clean and hurting ourselves at the same time. Our pet group is the third of thorough analysis we have done of the current market, approaching methods of modern careers, studying the impact in various areas, interviewing industry experts in the essential insight of the market and its current state. From all of our research, we have arrived at what we think is the best and most economic solution, which we are calling project selection. Our project selection is based upon balance and cleanup prepared with all natural kitchen waste, which not only works efficiently but is also cost effective as well. It is people and environment friendly and focuses on a sustainable earth. For research and development of the product, we research hygiene and sanitary product growth in India from the beginning of the pandemic in order to gain a more holistic view of the current market trends. There has been an 81% increase and 29 times jump in the search of sanitizers in Google. And this is just data from April. Imagine how much higher it is now among all the cleaner categories. Bleach has accounted for the largest percentage of increase with an increase of 35.3% for all cleaners and an increase of 108.8% for all disinfectants. After looking at the available data, we turned to the large scale surveys to find out the state of consumer in the current market using tools like Statista to measure how much potential impact our product would have along with gaining a rough measure for the demand we would face for our product, thus ensuring our plan be to be scalable and sustainable based on the most recent data. According to the survey, 50% population couldn't get sanitization product. People have started prioritizing cleanliness and hygiene more than ever now and are looking for new ways to guarantee that hygiene. People have started focusing on clean and safe products. The first goal that we are focusing on is the goal number one, no power. Since our project is collaborating with low skilled workers, we are providing them with a livelihood and a way to enhance their working conditions. The next goal that we are focusing on is good health and well-being. 
Since our project is bioenzyme cleaner, which is organic and is not made up of any chemicals, we are promoting the idea of cleanliness and hygiene. It has also no repercussions to the climate, the surroundings or people. The next goal that we are focusing on is goal number 6. Since our project is a bioenzyme cleaner, we are directly promoting the goal of clean hygiene and sensitization of cleanliness around the world. The next goal that we are focusing on is responsible consumption and production. Our project of bioenzyme cleaner basically uses the natural resources such as citrus waste which is provided in nature without any added chemicals in order to produce an organic product. Thus, we are utilizing what the nature provides in a very effective way and create a product that will sustain for a long period of time. Our immediate target consumers would be middle income class, people and families in Delhi and National Capital Region of India. Our career selection aims to cater to our target buyers by undercutting the name brands but not only utilizing the most sustainable business model but by also employing processes and chemicals that are bio-friendly cheap and easy to process. Our product can affect potentially millions of lives in background, never being noticed, but leaving a huge impact on the environment, preventing the harmful effects of chemicals used in the name brand cleaners. Not only will directing sales to one particular class aid revenue, but it will also allow the middle income class buyers to soak up the resources and development costs little by little. As the production of our product reaches a larger and larger demand, the product will also get cheaper and cheaper and will be constantly revised, making it better and tougher while also being environment sustainable and bringing the positive social change. Coming towards the making, the bioenzyme cleaner is incredibly simple to prepare. Let's see how it's made. Just boil a liter of water with 100 grams of grinded jaggery. Mix the solution with 300 grams of lemon or orange peel in a 2 litre bottle. Seal the bottle and let the mixture ferment for around 90 days and let these do its magic. In the end, filter the constituents of the bottle to separate the cleaner from the residual waste. See, it's that easy. After extensive research and brainstorming, we have formulated the perfect recipe for our bioenzyme cleaner. Our cleaners are produced by fermenting citrus fruits, which we would get from any small scale juice seller with water and sugar. To obtain this perfect recipe, we went through several batches of cleaners, varying from different natural fragrances options as well, and we anonymously agreed to our final product. Bioenzyme cleaners can be used for various purposes. For cleaning mirrors, normal smudges or watermarks, mirrors have a tendency of getting dirty and bioenzyme solution has proved to be a very efficient cleaner, removing pesky odors. Uh, kitchen sink, bathroom sink or showers often start leaking of an unwelcome smell or get dirty. Applying the solution and leaving it for some time will help remove the smell and clean any stuff and stain. Mopping floors, floors used to be mopped every day. Mixing one small cap of the solution with water will provide an effective mopping solution. Cleaning ovens and microwaves, it's a great way to remove unwanted smell and even clean the dirt. Can't use the toxic cleaners where you is kept, right? So this is the best solution and you can give it a go. Advantage, completely barred, stays on the surface for up to 80 hours, ensuring cleanliness and removing any odors. The production process is easy to scalable and cheaper to produce comparing to the competing products in the market. The bacteria present in the product can displace pathogens by so straining the organisms resulting in a cleaner surface on the bacteria level too. The materials can be sourced from a local and sustainable suppliers, not only stimulating local and struggling organic farmers, but also reducing its carbon footprints. As nothing has to be transported, huge distances for production. The process for production is by byproducts that can be used as compost for the enriched nutrients and can be donated or sold to the local farms, further positively impacting the produce and increasing yields. We understand that every product has its ups and downs, and that's why we also have challenges that we need to overcome soon enough. Well, our product is aimed to compete with the brands that have multi million rupee marketing budgets that will make it an unfair competition and be hard for us to gain traction in the markets and in the lives of, of our target audience.
So let's talk about some of the factors of selection. So we assume to produce a minimum of 100 liter batches per month, which cost us roughly rupees what 1,000. Each bottle will be sold at one hundred rupees hundred. And seller cut per bottle will be rupees fifteen. That will make our profit to be rupees seventy five. Per month, we fetch a profit margin of rupees seven thousand five hundred, and a minimum batch a hundred liter is produced. This amount is a net profit of rupees ninety thousand per annum. Minimum expected revenue generated by July 2022 is this what we have expected. So with the bioenzyme, our profit is 75% from the base investment. So I think it's a win-win situation. Our product brings to consumer an environmentally friendly cleaning solution that is free of harmful chemicals and an impactful cleaner made of organic and locally sourced materials that further promote local farmers and businesses. The aim of this product is not to disrupt and change the life of its users, but instead to silently offer a comfortable alternative that results in the user being safer than the conventional chemical compost cleaners and being kind to the environment. Our product on a large scale has the potential to not only positively affect the environment, preventing harmful chemicals from showing up in water bodies, polluting them and causing the local fauna to die along with preventing the chemicals from entering households and preventing diseases that follow from consuming these amounts of chemicals. Project Sanraksha brings not only environmentally friendly and safe sanitary solutions, but also take care of a portion of the organic waste in our kitchens and surroundings through the initiative. It is a cost-effective solution to the universal problems that addresses the urgent demand for sanitation and hygiene while also considering the impact on health and the environment. The product affects the life of millions and can change the society around us in a positive way.